Uh, bum, 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 bum. Uh, completely straight brush stroke. Uh, there's a couple different ways. If we go, well, one of my favorite ways. Okay, hey, this might be uh, a trick I use all the time that's kind of obscure, maybe. Let's go back to, I guess it doesn't really matter. We'll go back to our cyan girl here. We'll go ahead and delete that. And let's go ahead and just bring up something here. Let's grab this armor. So I'm going to alt tap this one, go into solo mode. Um, so on this thing here, if I wanted to make a completely straight line with my, like, say, my standard brush or my Damien standard brush, like this, um, one of the things I like to do is, if, say, I wanted to make a straight line from here to here, what I can do is I can use my transpose line to go from here to here, and then I can hold down control and click this uh, white. If I hover over the white dot, you're going to see there's some options up here. If you hold down control and click, it'll move your camera to make that transpose line straight in the camera. And now as you start drag drawing, hold down shift and that'll constrain it to a straight line. So you can kind of use that to kind of go through here and start cutting in panel lines arbitrarily, you know, because you can snap your camera if you hold down shift to different camera views and then you can just do straight lines like this. Uh, but if you wanted to do like a line from here to here, or here to here, you can just kind of match that with your transpose line, hold down control and tap, and now you can just go here to here and just hold down shift and do a straight line. Um, of course, if you don't want to do that, there's a number of options. You can go to your stroke menus, one of them, and you can do curve, whoops, under lazy mouse. And so right now our lazy mouse is on, but it's a very low value. If I crank that up, you're going to see that rubber band come out. If you do backtrack, snap to track, line, you can just drag out a line and then that'll snap it to your line here. So you can go from like here to here and then just snap backtrack along there. That's another way to do it. Uh, yeah, as far as like being able to show stuff, uh, if the project gets released, I get to show it. Uh, there's some instances where I do um, co-development with other companies and that's kind of a restrictive as to what I can show and then sometimes we just work on projects that don't go anywhere. So, um, handle artifacts around lips and eyes. Yeah, you, yeah, absolutely. So that's a good point. So what they do is when you're projecting all, you'll get an, um, artifacts around lips and eyes. Um, when, in fact, when I'm re, so when you have scan data of a head and then you need to re, re, re it and you're, but you're working with a mesh that has to stay kind of the same because it uses the same facial rig. Uh, what I'll end up doing is exactly what you said. I'll mask around the eyelids and the ears, uh, and the lips just to kind of keep them not snapping because yeah, if you get artifacts in there, it sometimes takes longer to clean it up than to just like mask it out and then just manually move verts into place and then maybe do a light uh, Z project brush to kind of get those shapes of the scan data. Then trying to go through and be like, oh, it really grabbed some weird points of going in there and kind of doing that. You could also store a morph target and then just kind of morph out your, your, um, your stuff. So basically what that would be is just like morph target, store it, go through here, start cutting in some lines, and then go to like BMO, and then you can use your morph brush to kind of clean out any places where you know artifacting is gonna, bit, gonna get crazy. Or in this case, for hard edge stuff, you can just go through here, let's crank that up to 100, and you can just very quickly go through and start doing some kind of hard edge panel lines using your morph brush, like so. Uh, or you can switch it, and then you can morph in where you want your stuff. Or you can just delete your morph target. Cool. See you next time. Um, I'm going to stream.